Hi everybody and welcome to Colors with Kathy. I promised in my last video that was on magenta that I would introduce to you colors that are the metallics and their meanings and the psychology behind them and you know how you can use them. But first of all, I want to say that thank you very much for buying my book, The Magic of Color. It is available again for pre-order. I have an order going into my printer. So if you want this book, please uh, private message me, leave me an email. Um, my contact information will be at the bottom. It's a great little book to learn all about color. It's for everybody. Uh, there's even things in there for kids and some cute exercises. Today, I am bringing to you the metallics from Lillian Werner Bond's book, my favorite book in the whole world. It's falling apart. It's called New Color Healing. And I absolutely love this book. Um, I'm always picking it up and uh, learning from it. One can always learn more about color. For instance, I saw a post yesterday on why airplane seats are blue. And it's about color psychology and how blue is calming. And it puts people at ease because, as we know, you know, in a tight, confined space, a lot of people are uncomfortable flying. <clears throat> so the first color I want to talk to you about is, is one of my favorites. I love copper. And my mom did, too. And uh, bless her heart, when she passed away, I got a lot of her costume jewelry. And there was so much copper in there. And I love it. And bronze and uh, different shades of metallic browns. Uh, she had red hair and she really liked to play it up with metallics. So first of all, I want to talk about coppery bronze. Um, it encourages things to go quickly without any disrup disruption or any issues or any problems. Things just go smoothly with it. Um, when we talk about uh, professions as they relate to color, uh, Lillian relates all secret services, you know, CIA, uh, so on, uh, to this color, which is, I think, very interesting. I need to look into that a little bit more and figure out why. Um, copper pots and pans are prized for their ability to allow the heat to come through with the minimum of resistance, and it spreads heat easily. And I love drinking out of copper cups. It just feels good. And it takes away acidity, and it represents quiet but productive activity. And coppery bronze has many different layers of color to it, if you think about it. So it's like brilliance. It really is. Um, a good example of this color, besides the Secret Service, is a really good marriage counselor. It uh, advises nicely. And then we move on to gold. And I mean, gold often relates to the sun. And uh, we're always searching for gold, sifting for gold, panning for gold. Um, jewelry uh, that is gold is worth so much. Now there's polarity to the metallic colors as well. And with gold, the polarity is moving away from deception and moving into trust, which I found very interesting. Positive words are generosity, maturity, experience, wisdom, and vitality. Also, it's about the future. Gold is a futuristic color. And negative words, um, you know, the other side of the coin, the gold coin, if you will, um, Limitation, pessimism, disgrace, um, crabbiness, and paranoia. I'm going to read from her book um, on how she expresses the color gold. Gold does not seek, it is purity. It has already been found. It expands the power of love. Gold is glorious. Gold represents the ultimate victory bronze, silver, and gold. Who doesn't want a gold medal? Gold is the benefactor. It is gracious. Gold asks that we trust and that we dare. Take some chances with gold. When you surrender, you can receive. Gold has no victims. It is always the winner. It comes up 
triumphant no matter what the odds are. It's purely itself, just itself. It knows wisdom is given to be handed on to others, not to be hoarded for oneself. That's where the generosity of gold comes through. It believes in the unification of all nations. So maybe a little visualization in wrapping our beautiful globe with golden light will help um, the diversity that is going on. There's no shades, there's no tints to gold, gold just is. The colors in the rainbow's arch lead from gold to gold. Gold means I am. Unearth the gold within that can enrich you. Gold is immortality. If you can't take it with you, it may be because it's already there. I love her words. And then we have beautiful silver. And silver has been the feminine, whereas gold has been the masculine and the sun. Silver relates to the moon and the feminine. And its polarity, um, like the moon, is waxing and waning. Positive silver words. It illuminates, it reflects, it shows us who we are. We can look into silver like a mirror and see who we really are. What is coming back to you? Silver is penetrating and it's fluidity. It moves. Think of mercury, you know, it's silver and it moves. Negative silver words, split, um, deception again, crocodile tears, um, misrepresentation. Silver illuminates. It's the feminine. It has the quality of endurance. Silver stills the emotions. And we just had this beautiful full moon. And I was thinking how beautiful the moon is when it looks silver to me. It's the great natural tranquilizer because it flows and it calms. It's always in a fluid state of consciousness. It's still waters that run deep. It's the penetrator. It pierces. Silver yearns for spiritual harmony. It restores equilibrium. It solves disputes. It's unbiased and it allows you to have your own opinion without others influencing you. It lights up the path by the light of the silvery moon. When the moon is favorable, the celestial conditions will enable us to succeed in our efforts to transcend our minds. It shows you as you are. It lays things bare. An invisible silver cord is said to attach us to the other side. At death, the cord is severed from our human body and we move on. I love that. People who fall in love with stars of the silver screen are under the negative aspects of silver. Silver is the thread of cosmic intelligence. It governs the waning and the waxing of life. The expression, I don't know whether I'm coming or going, is working with the aspect of silver, this waxing and waning. There's no shades, no tints of silver, it just is. Blue curtains of the sky, Scatter thy silver dew on every flower that shuts its sweet eyes in timely sleep and wash the dusk with silver. That's from the poem to the Evening Stars by William Blake, one of my favorites. I also wanted to talk about pearl. Now, pearl isn't white because it radiates and illuminates all the other colors. And the polarity is rejection versus acceptance. And positive pearl words are luster, soft, glowing, roundness, perfection, strength, and calm. The negative pearl keywords are irritability, weakness, being flawed, um, difficult to get through. Pearl is luxury. It gives strength and purifies the mind. One can find color in pearl if one looks long enough. Pearl has a subtle warmth that responds to the warmth of the human skin. Pearl is organic. It has an open and shut quality. The pearl personality does not like to be intruded upon. It has a habit of clamming up, just like its cousins. Think of an oyster closing up. 
The hypersensitive person is under the negative aspect of pearl. It feels rejected and it doesn't know about acceptance. One has to accept oneself before it can accept others. Pearl is a subtle mixer and merger. Someone who refuses to answer may be working with the negative aspect of Pearl. So, you know, how do you get this person to open up? The Pearl personality may seem remote, but it's a case of the Pearl in the gray shell. And we're going to talk about gray, black, and brown next time. Pearl is the unexpected achiever. Pearl has a mysterious relationship with the moon. An old remedy for keeping pearls in perfect condition was to bathe them in moonlight. I knew that. Um, I don't remember how, but I know. I knew that. I don't have pearls. I have fake pearls. And I love wearing them because they used to belong to my grandmother. And I can feel her when I wear them. Um, there are no shades and no tints of pearl. And from the Tempest, Shakespeare. Full fathom five, my father lies. Of his bones are coral made. Those are pearls that were his eyes. Nothing of him that doth fade. Um, when we look to poetry, we can find many words, many, many words on color. Um, so I just want to thank you all for checking in. Please feel free to share this video. I will be working more on um, the hows and the whys of how color therapy works. So after the next video, which will be on the browns, the grays, uh, the beiges, and the black, um, and what they represent and how we don't use them in color therapy, but they can be very useful in our environment. So um, I'm going to say goodbye for now. I hope you're having a warm, colorful day. It's still cold here in Sylvan Lake, Alberta. And things are changing. This is a year of rebuilding for me. I moved from a city to a small town. Um, as you've noticed, I let my hair grow and I, I let it be itself, uh, which is natural curly, more like ringlets. And uh, I'm loving it. And uh, no more hats, no more wigs. I am myself. And I'm encouraging people this year to look at themselves and see how they can grow and rebuild and start over. And starting over can be a good thing. Um, what do you want this year? What do you want to change about yourself or your environment? You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. The first time somebody told that to me, I was overwhelmed. And I thought, you're right. I don't have to. I wanted to teach color. I went out and I taught color 26 years now. And I'm overwhelmed with um, the way people want to know more. And I am teaching a class in Red Deer at the Soul Center. And I really appreciate uh, the people that have already signed up and registered. It's a three hour course, uh, one hour a week for three weeks. And we're going to talk about the magic, the soul, and the body of color, and how you can bring it into your life. And that's my mission. That's my goal in life, is to show you the rainbow and how it can help you in so many different ways. So I'm Kathy, Colors with Kathy. And my links are below. And I have a website, kathymhughes.weebly.com. That may be changing in the future. Um, this is my... Um, this is my goal, is to upgrade everything. There will be a blog coming soon, more videos with demonstrations on people, and how we use color. So that's me for now. I'm off to write some uh, manuals up, and I'm also working on my second book. So I'm having a blast, and I'm loving life, and I hope that you are too. Please go off and have a colorful day.